So what makes the difference from a living machine and a regular machine? Well, the first and the fundamental difference is a living machine operates from sunlight. It's the basic engine. And like the coral reef or the rainforest, the living machine has the ability to self-organize, to self-design, to self-repair and to self-replicate, like the great ecologies themselves. So what is a living machine? A living machine is like any other machine, it does work. And living machines can be designed that generate fuels, that produce foods, that convert waste, and undertake environmental repair. Living machines can be designed that can regulate the climate and air quality in buildings such as this. Living machines can be designed to allow us to create ecological industrial parks where manufacturing and food production and other forms of human activity can be integrated into holistic comprehensive systems. The more that I learned of these various ecologies, the more I saw similarities at another level. They all had the ability to self-design, to self-organize, to self-repair, and to self-replicate. They had more attributes in common than they had differences. We can also see this in quick time if we take a big jar of water and mud and we go to local ponds and lakes and fill it up with life forms. Within a matter of days and weeks, what we see inside these bottles exposed to sunlight is nature organizing itself at an extremely rapid rate. This, I believe, is ecological design. Seeing these processes is kind of like the scale falling from my eyes. That these forces which I've just talked about could be harnessed technologically. That human beings might be able to use these same forces to carry out the work that is necessary for us to stay alive and to stay alive without destroying, which is the common attribute of the 20th century. In other words, it's possible for us to think about technologies that can last for hundreds and even thousands of years. The ecologies themselves, whether they were generating fuels or transforming waste, would continue to evolve and serve ourselves as well as the planet.